They dominated the regular season and playoffs, only to fall on the final stretch. Real Madrid's bid to add to their nine EuroLeague titles would come to a grinding halt against Fenerbahce in the final four in Istanbul. I think our season was great. That was the first year of a regular season, round robin, playing against everyone, and we were uh, first on that. We won 23 games out of, out of 30. We lost against Fenerbahce, who in that moment uh, was playing great basketball. They were playing again in front of their fans. So it was a tough game. We didn't play a good game. We lost. The most successful club in EuroLeague history, Real have excelled for more than half a century. But coming up short in their pursuit of the much coveted La Decima, a 10th title, Los Blancos will be back looking to go all the way this season. We want to compete. That's the most important thing. We want to look for our way and we want to win every competition. The loss of reigning tournament MVP Sergio Yui to a long-term injury in the closed season has forced coach Pablo Lasso to rethink his plans. But on the plus side, Los Blancos possess the EuroLeague's hottest young prospect in Luka Doncic. The 18-year-old Slovenian unplayable at times last season, winning the EuroLeague Rising Star Award in May. Yeah, it means a lot, you know, it's something that keeps me going, keeps me working, you know, it's a, it's a pleasure to be a rising star of the, of the year past season, so it's a great thing that I could be this, this thing and they just keep me going and keep training. With the likes of Gustavo Ayon, Anthony Randolph and JC Carroll on the roster, Real has plenty of talent at its disposal. A stellar lineup that's been strengthened with the arrival of Serbian centre Ognjen Kuzmic from Savena Zvezda and French shooting guard Fabian Cozer from Broza Bamberg. When I was playing uh, in other teams and when I was younger, one of the goal was to, to be in the top teams in Europe and of course Real Madrid for not just basketball, for the, as a club, uh, but it is, is one of the best in the world, if it's not the best. Real Madrid once again begin the season as one of the title favourites. Los Blancos refocused on winning that elusive La Decima. You know, we have great teams in front of us, but, uh, but from the first day we start working, we have to think that, that we are Real Madrid and we've got to go for everything.